Hello everybody, today I'm going to be opening a pack of Pirates of the Revolution. This set came out in 2005, uh, it introduced the American faction, and it was the third set produced. Uh, this is the unlimited edition, as you can see from the pack. So first they had like a first edition, um, then the other printings were unlimited edition. So you can see, uh, to open it, there's that there, and then some, I usually like to use the part on the back here, but I'll just tear it along the slit here. Alright, let's see what we have. So first up, Spanish Helmsman. So each pack comes with two crew, uh, or two ships, one crew, an island, and then usually the crew card has treasure with it, and if not, there's treasure in the pack as well. Okay, so the first ship is the Executioner, which is a pirate ship. It's actually a pretty good gunship, um, a good support gunship, really good ability. Uh, good cannons, solid cargo space, all for a decent point cost. And nice, the other ship is the Carolina, which is another good ship. This is an American ship, uh, generally used as like a gold runner. You can see the good cargo space, uh, decent speed, all for a nice cheap point cost. The Americans don't have a lot of good treasure running options, so this is actually one of their best gold runners. And then the island card has Sargasso Sea on the back which they introduced in the previous set, Crimson Coast. And then, oh, I got another crew, Lady Baptiste, which gives the reroll ability, which is a pretty good ability, especially if you combine it with uh, double action abilities with, like, same action twice and uh, extra action. So Lady Baptiste. So I got two crew, two ships, an island, and then you get the treasure on the crew card, and then you get, like, a checklist, and then the rules are in here. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you later.